Come in. Salam alaikum. How are you? Salam alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Please have a seat. Thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. How was uh, your brother? He came to me lately. Yeah, he's fine now. Thank you for asking. Alhamdulillah. So why did you come to the clinic? Actually, I'm getting tired easily these days and I'm having difficulty in breathing. Okay, so I need to ask you some questions and then we'll do some physical examination on you to of see what's happening. Of course, doctor. No problem. Okay. So after I get your result, you see... Mm -hmm. I think I need to tell you, as I told you many times before, that you need to really work hard on decreasing your weight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why am I getting this weight, doctor? Well, okay, but this answer is showing you this video. The major reasons to be blamed are uh, poor eating habits. Uh, in terms of uh, having people are depending more on uh, eating junk food and that's not only for uh, for adults but also for children and in fact it's becoming a family habit for uh, in, in terms of uh, having entertainment where the whole family would go and, and dine uh, uh, in a junk food restaurant our life is becoming very sedentary. We are more heavily dependent on uh, uh, using our cars uh, in in transportation. Um, not only that, we are um, we are using uh, more um, uh, things that would even minimize our opportunity to uh, to be more physically active. So we use elevators. Uh, we ask people to bring uh, things for us. We use uh, you know uh, porters and so so. We don't really have this uh, culture of, of being physically active. obesity to be part of or to be a predisposing factor and uh, speaking from cardiovascular diseases ending into uh, musculoskeletal and arthritis uh, it's all there so. so what is the solution doctor how can I lose my weight okay let me show you another video um, line of management starts with I'm not going to say diet, I'm not going to say sports, actually it goes even before that to adjust your eating behavior. The most uh, um, uh, uh, complicated issue with obesity is the eating behavior. Just simple modifications of lifestyle and eating behaviors can help you losing weight without any intervention. Uh, after that, the second line will come the diet and the exercise and they always go together. It's not the diet alone, it's not the exercise alone. It has to come together. You need to reduce your calorie intake and increase uh, the calorie that you burn. Um, after the diet, 
and the exercise, some medical treatment could be effective for obesity, especially for those who are 30 to 35. When this all fail, still there is options which are not surgical, but it's endoscopic, meaning that they are still considered to be invasive, but not really surgery. They are done through an upper GI endoscopy, uh, not by surgery. They are done under sedation, not under uh, general anesthesia. Uh, those mainly are, uh, the most famous one is the bioenteric gastric balloon. Which now, generally, we do not operate or choose surgical uh, surgeries as an option for patients with body mass index less than 40. Uh, sometimes we operate with body mass index 35 to 40 if there is a comorbidity associated with uh, the obesity. For patients who are candidate for surgery, we usually have three types of surgical management, either the restrictive type uh, and there is the combined restrictive and malabsorptive and there is the operations which is considered to be malabsorptive. Um, I have to uh, give a credit to this group for choosing such an important topic because in, in, as I said earlier it's really becoming a, a not only an epidemic but a pandemic you know? and, and it's the, 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 the risk of obesity is, is not sparing any age group. I, I can see now in my practice uh, obese children, uh, preteens, uh, uh, and of course adults, and, and unfortunately elderly patients. So <laughs> okay, so I guess before talking about management.